Hey there, my name's Sarah and I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my mini backpack. This is a mini Munich by Matt and Nat. I got this directly from their website. It's in black. They offer other colors and the dimensions and things like that are on their website as well. I'll list the link to this bag in the info bar below if you want to go check that out later. I've been looking for a cute mini neutral backpack for a little while and I've been researching and decided on this one. I really like Matt and Nat. I have a few pieces from them. They are vegan if that's something that you're interested in. The straps are also adjustable. It has your base basic small pouch here at the front. So let's start with that section. I have a mini orange pen and a menthol candy for if you ever get those cough attacks when you're sick. Now I'm going to go into the main compartment. As in all my what's in my purse videos in the past, I have some similar things like my glasses case and my glasses that you might have seen in that bookshelf tour. If you do want to check out those other what's in my purse videos. I also have the playlist linked down below and at the end of this video probably. Something new that I got that I really like is this reusable bag that comes in this pouch with a little purple carabiner. It's from Topshop and it's from the paper chase section that sometimes is in Topshop's connected to it. I love the rainbow cloud pattern of it and the bag is actually quite a nice large size and it has also served me well in the rain when I didn't have a coat and yes I had this over my head. Oh yeah I had this little fuzzy thing on my purses normally it didn't really work in this case but I found it was easier to put on the end of my keys to find them in my bag a lot easier more easily and I also have this Henry's lens cleaner but I use to clean my glasses or sunglasses and then my giant sunglasses case with my prescription sunglasses. I have a little pink mini roots pouch that I think I just have some change and a Starbucks gift card in. And lastly, in the main pouch, I have this Le Sports uh, multiple zipper pouch thing that has a lot of things that I need on the go. Kind of almost like, you know, your mom has everything. This basically has everything that I need in it. This hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works has seen better days. It's scraped off. It's a lemon one. I really love this scent of that. I have a Joyous Health Lip Treat Mint Lip Balm. I love that it's minty because if your breath is a little bad and you don't have a mint or gum, that kind of like covers the bad breath smell a touch. I also have this Vervain L'Occitane Cooling Hand Cream. This homemade deodorant, which works really well. I need to make some more. It's good to have it on the go, especially if you accidentally forget to put it on in the morning before you leave your house. And then I also have this other little pink container that has acetaminophen, things like that, my wee allergy pills. I have a pad because just in case, or maybe for a friend, the second zipper, a hair tie. I have these Bosha Clear Complexion Blotting Linens with bamboo and willow bark extract. Actually, I gotta check the expire on these. I wonder if they expire. I haven't used these yet. I have a nail file. I have two sizes of band-aids, probably Barbie or Hello Kitty. This is a new thing that I really like it's by gum and it comes with this container and tons of these little guys that almost look like pine trees good to just kind of like quickly get in between your teeth on the go to get any stuff out of your mouth that might have lingered. I have this knitted little cross in here. In the last little pouch, I have earbuds. I love the pattern of this. It's light floral to it. There is a little spot for your phone and it has navy lining. I've got the iPhone 6s. This otter box, I think it's the medium protection in this like light and dark turquoise color. There is one last section, this little zipper here at the back. You could keep, oh, actually I do have one. I was gonna say like a mirror or something, but this one also has a built-in comb along with it. It's this purple glittery one that I got years ago when I was in elementary school. I have some Kleenex, also have another little wallet hard case type thing. I also just wanted to quickly mention, thank you so much for helping me to reach and surpass 500 subscribers. That was actually my first goal when I started YouTube. I started back in March of 2013, so I've been making YouTube videos for four years now. I feel like I've definitely grown since then. You can check out my oldest videos if you feel like comparing. I don't think they're 
too embarrassing, but it's nice to see the progress. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked, and subscribe if you want to see more of the videos that I make. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.